Um, today we're we'll testing the Steinman's test and also McMurray's. We're going to have our patient lay supine on the table. We're going to be testing, these are both for uh, meniscus tear. So for Steinman's, I'm going to bring the patient up into about just a little bit of flexion. I'm going to put my distal hand around the ankle and then my proximal hand are around the back of the knee. And we're just going to flex and extend the knee looking to reproduce symptoms in the meniscus. So when the patient is in um, extension, they should feel more um, meniscus symptoms in the anterior part of the knee. And when they go into flexion on um, that joint line, you can find that, make sure you're stabilizing. You'll, you'll see the symptoms posteriorly during flexion. Extension is anteriorly, posterior, um, you'll see. <laughs> flexion would be posteriorly. And when we go into McMurray's, we're going to bring the patient up into 90 degrees of knee flexion and 90 degrees of hip flexion. Again, I'm stabilizing distally at the um, hind foot and proximally behind the knee. And with this one, we're just going to do an internal and external rotation of the tibia. And we are again looking to see if we produce those symptoms within that meniscus and looking for any pain involved with that. 